Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the coding questions which were asked in Accenture hiring recently. This question that I'll be discussing in this video was asked on 3rd April 2022. So guys, make sure that you watch this video till the end so that you can get to know the type of the questions as well as the level of the questions which are getting asked in the Accenture hiring. Guys, previously also during the Accenture hiring also, I have posted a lot of coding questions video on my youtube channel all those videos you can find under this playlist that is essential coding questions playlist you can see here the questions which are the hiring that happened on 1st april there are many questions that i have discussed in these videos so make sure that if you are preparing for essential hiring you you must watch these videos before your exam and guys if you are not subscribed to this channel do not please subscribe it and join my telegram groups <coughs> also i am posting regular updates on different companies which are hiring as well as the questions which are being asked in them so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel okay so guys the flow of our video will remain same first i'll be discussing the question then the approach of that question and then finally i will tell you how to write the code for the same now the question that i, I am discussing in this video is very easy if you know a little bit of programming also then this question is definitely for you you will be able to solve this particular question so the question here is given a number n find its factorial so it's a simple factorial code that you have to write in the exam that is uh, let us see the example uh, input is 5 you will have to just output the factorial of 5 input is 4 you just have to output the factorial of 4 that is 24 so how we do factorial what is factorial so once the number is given 5 so what we do we multiply the numbers from 1 to 5 1 to 5 and then we get our answer so the, then the answer that we got is the factorial of that number. So 1 into 2 is 2, 2 into 3 is 6, 6 into 4 is 24, 24 into 5 is 120. So this is our correct answer. Now let's just see for 4 factorial. So we will start multiplying the numbers from 1 to 4. 1, multiply 2, multiply 3, multiply 4. The answer here is 24. So the, this is the 4 factorial, this is the 5 factorial. And you can see these are the respective outputs also. So now I hope the question is clear to you because it is very simple question that can be asked from you in any exam. So guys, please make sure that now I will be telling you how to write the code because telling the approach is does not matter because we all know that the approach is very simple. We just have to multiply the numbers from 1 to the number that is given to us as an input that is n factorial. So this is n factorial. So I hope this thing, uh, this question is clear to you and as well as the examples are clear to you. So now let's just write the code straightforward. Okay, so just a second. So okay, so for saving time uh, in the <laughs> in the Accenture exam, you will just have to implement the function that will be given to you. You do not have to write the main function. And if you are practicing the questions on your own at your home, so then you will have to write the main function for yourself. But in the Accenture exam, you will just have to implement the function that will be given to you. So in fact, in so this is the function that you have to implement. Here, input is the number for which you have to calculate the factorial. And return type is also int that means you have to return the factorial of the input number so what we do we take a variable let's just say uh, int sum we initialize it with the, with with one now what we'll do we'll simply run a loop from int i is equal to one i less than equal to n i plus plus and what we do inside it we'll simply multiply this sum variable with the ith value and in the end we will simply return sum from here so I hope now this uh, this entire function is clear to you. This was uh, this is very small function that I've written. So first of all, we'll take a variable sum equivalent to one. We will run a loop from our i is equal to one, i less than equal to n, i plus plus, and we will multiply each i with this sum. So sum is equal to i uh, sum is equal to sum into i. That will give us this. When the entire for loop is completed, then we will do one into two into three into four into five. So this for loop is doing that thing for us. That is. First one will be multiplied, then two will be multiplied, then three, then four, then five till the till n. So now I hope this function is clear to you. Now let's just uh, uh, run it on simple simple test cases. So first our input is five. So for five our factorial should be one twenty. So let's just see if our answer is coming out to be correct. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So you can see that out for five output is one twenty. <laughs> now let's just <laughs> see for four. So for 4, our output should be 24. And guys, if you have not subscribed to this channel, now please subscribe it because many such more such videos will be published in future and many have already been published before. The links of all the videos related to Accenture you will find in the description box. You can see the output is coming out to be 24. So this particular code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel and please share this 
channel with your friends so that they can also get help from it thank you for watching this video